Solving dopamine calculations is not as daunting as they first may appear. There's just a few simple steps to follow, and we will review those for you with a sample problem. Okay, so here's the problem. It states that you have been ordered by a physician to administer 15 micrograms per kilogram per minute of dopamine to a patient weighing 220 pounds. You have mixed 800 milligrams of dopamine into 500 milliliters of D5W. Your partner sets you up with a 60 drops per milliliter set and starts the IV for you. How many drips per minute will you administer to your patient to achieve the desired dose? Okay, remember that the first thing you want to do when you encounter a drug calculation problem is to carefully read the problem to determine what exactly the question is asking you for. Okay, so this one is asking us to solve a dopamine drip, and so we will proceed from there. We need to select the correct formula, and for dopamine, it is the doctor's orders, okay, in micrograms, multiplied by the patient's weight in kilograms, multiplied by the drip set. We're then going to take that number and divide it by the concentration of dopamine in one milliliter. All right, so looking into this a little further, we'll pull some information out of our problem. All right, the first thing we have to take a look at is the patient's weight, because remember the formula requires that the patient's weight be expressed in kilograms, but we're actually provided with the patient's weight in pounds, and that's simply not going to work. So what we're going to have to do is take the patient's weight in pounds and divide it by 2.2 to get the patient's weight in kilograms. So we'll pull up our handy dandy calculator, and we'll take 220 pounds and divide that by 2.2 to get 100 kilograms. And there you see that right down there, 100 kilograms. We'll clear out the calculator and we'll send that away. We'll use it again in just a second. All right, the next thing we need to do is look back into our problem and extract some more information from it. All right, the physician has given the orders in micrograms. However, our dopamine is supplied in milligrams. Now, you, can't, you cannot simply plug in 800 into the formula and expect it to work because all of our units must be the same. So what we have to do is convert 800 milligrams into the equivalent micrograms. How we're going to do that is we're going to take 800 milligrams and we're going to multiply it by 1,000. Okay, if this, uh, if you're wondering why I'm multiplying by 1,000, this would be a great, great time for you to take to go in and review your metric system. All right, which gives us 800,000. All right, since we're here and we're already working with the dopamine, let's go ahead and get our concentration. All right, the problem says that we have 500 cc's of fluid. So we're going to take our 800,000 micrograms and divide that by 500 cc's of fluid, which is going to give us 1,600 micrograms per milliliter. And when I see I wrote that down right there, we'll refer back to that in just a second. Alright, so now what we want to do is we want to take this information and actually plug it into the formula. Alright, so let's review real quick the information that we have extracted from our problem. We have the dose, which is 15 micrograms. There it is, 15 micrograms. The patient's weight, which is 200 kilograms. The drip set, listed right there, which is 60 drops per milliliter. And our concentration, which is 1600 micrograms per kilogram. And remember, we got that by doing this calculation right here. All right, so let's review the formula one more time. It's the doctor's orders multiplied by the kilograms multiplied by the drip set divided by the concentration in one milliliter. All right, so we'll plug these numbers in and quite simply it's 15 micrograms, 100 kilograms, 60 drop set, 1600 milliliters. Okay, we're going to multiply straight across the top all right, so we have 15 micrograms multiplied by 100 kilograms multiplied by 60 drop set gives us 90,000. Okay, we'll get the calculator out of the way for just a second. And of course, there's no further calculation needed on the bottom because we did that in the previous step. All right, so now we have 90,000 and we will divide that by the 1600, which gives us 56. 5. Rounded down to the nearest whole number, that would be 56. Alright, so see it's not that difficult, just, just a little math, take some practice. 
Something you may want to keep in mind, if your service carries 800 milligram vials of dopamine, which must be mixed with 500 milliliters of fluid, all right, your concentration is always going to be 1600. So if you're in the field doing these calculations, you can save yourself a step by just remembering that the concentration is going to be 1600 micrograms per cc. Well, I hope this has been of some benefit to you. And remember, it's not difficult. It just takes practice.